you all the music, the countdown. So before, just for the, those of you, I've never done this. Well, I've done this once before. Um, for those of you who've not done this before, um, there's like a countdown, like to tell you how much time is left. So it's, it's, the music is like, dun, 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 <laughs> Anyway, that's what I was doing, dancing to that. Hi, thanks for joining me, everybody. My name's Mareka Hendricks. Um, yeah, it's nice to be here with you. I'm seeing like already stuff in the chat. So I have stuff that I need to sign, of course. So, and I'm terrible with time management. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I would like to like, you know, like see what's happening in the chat for a, a couple of minutes and then, um, and then do some signing and then come back to the chat. So um, if that works, does that work for everybody? Yes, no, <laughs> maybe so. I suppose you, I won't be able to hear you, but let's see. Okay, so there's, so there's, you know, it's interesting, hey, because, you know, I'm doing, um, the signing is, uh, you know, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. So here's like one autograph card that I'm going to be using. These are done by the amazing Pixel Kitties. And by the way, high school. Um, and these, uh, this is also um, done by the amazing Pixel Kitties. And this one actually incorporates a character that some of you are, are mentioning in the chat. It's kind of Sonata Dusk is... Um, is uh, from Equestria Girls. And this is Sonata um, dressed in Revy from Black Lagoon, who's a, a, a anime dub show that I worked on. So this is like a is Sonata dressed as uh, Revy. And instead of, you know, two hands holding two guns, which is what Revy does, she's holding tacos from It's Taco Tuesday. So I thought that was just a really cool uh, piece of art that Pixel Kitties made. So anyway, so yeah, some people, some of you I noticed are, you know, the, like Bryson in the chat was like, can you do Susan Test? So Susan Test is a character I play on a show called Johnny Test. Um, and yes, I can do, let me try and remember her sound. Um, uh, she, I'll, I'll think of a line. Um, Okay, Johnny, we'll give you power po power poots. Okay, John. Okay, Johnny, we'll give you power poots if you do us one top small tiny scientific favor. So there's a Susan test um, thing. Um, power poots. You probably all maybe can figure out what a poot is. Um, Susan and Mary do experiments on their brother, and so they both sets of both sides of the family negotiate with each other. They want, the, the twins want to test stuff on Johnny. And then sometimes Johnny uh, is tested, gets something that's test uh, that's tested on him and he really likes it. So he wants to use it. So that's what power boots are. Um, that's what that line is referencing. Um, so, and then Jovan, Jovan, I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, so we have Thunderblast from Transformers Cybertron, Anetta from Mega Man NT War, I forgot about that. My favorite, my personal favorite, Luna Maria Hawk from Mumble Seat Gundam Sea Destiny. It's gonna be fun. I hope this is gonna be fun. And yes, I really liked playing Luna Maria too. Uh, Thunderblast was a cool character. I don't remember Anetta very well, but I think that might have been the first voice acting job I did when I got to Vancouver, when I moved here. Um, and yeah, Thunderblast and Transformers Cybertron. She's a boat. Transforms into a boat. It's cool. Uh, Gucci Goose. Um, I hope we get a Black Lagoon movie or something too. Um, for those of you who've never heard me talk about this show before, it's my favorite uh, project of my whole career. I used to work a lot in theater and on camera as well as doing voice acting. And um, playing Revy in Black Lagoon was my favorite uh, thing ever. I love it. Um, and then I saw so I see Scope. Hi, Scope. Um, and someone's saying, hi, Marika, how are you? I'm good, thank you. It's sunny. I hope this like background light is not too distracting. Um, but if I go downstairs, my two foster kittens are down there and they climb all over the computer, all over my screen. Uh, they, you know, have kicked me out of meetings before because they have hit something. So I'm in here so I can close that door and just, they're super cute, but a bit distracting. Um, and everybody, a lot of people saying, hello, hello, hello. Hi, Jonathan. There's a couple of different people who I recognize from Twitter. I'm not, I don't use Twitter very much, but 
Um, there you have it. So, oh, this is Jovan, Republic of Serbia, 17 years old, Transformers fan since Trans. Oh, you know the whole thing then, Transformers Armada. Um, Love's Darkness is wanting me to talk a little bit about um, Brad Swale. Uh, yeah, he is really, really great. Um, so Brad and I um, played kind of basically opposite each other on um, Black Lagoon. Um, he played Rock, the um, Japanese businessman turned um, pirate, I suppose. Um, and he's great. It's when we work in dubbing, just for those of you who aren't um, familiar with the way that we work when we work in dubbing, it's um, there's two kinds of kind of recording for animation. And one is prelay animation. And we record the voices first and then the animators um, animate uh, the work, um, such as like in My Little Pony. Um, that's how that's recorded. Um, for dubbing work, we work one at a time. So I never actually got to work with Brad. When we do prelay recording, we record in a group like, kind of like if you can picture like an old fashioned radio play. And so we are delivering lines to each other and listening to each other and cracking each other up. We were in each other's takes quite a bit, but, um, but in dubbing recording, we're working on our own. So it's when I go into a dubbing session, it's me, the voice director and the engineer. So Brad and I would pass each other and I know him anyways from working with him on other stuff, but we would pass each other in the hall sometimes, like when I was done my session, he was coming in for his, but we never actually got to work together and deliver our lines together. All that you see is the engineers like making their magic and making sure all the takes match kind of the intensity. So it's really cool. Um, and that's also something that James Corgill, who's the voice director, does in order to make sure the, um, the, the delivery of a line matches like what's what's come before it and what's coming after. It's 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 a it's quite a lot to kind of keep track of. But yeah, so he's amazing. I, I, he's great, great person, great person, great actor. Um, can I do Sonata upset that Gilda ate all her tacos? Yeah, that's actually funny because Gilda would totally eat all the tacos. She would pretend she'd hate them. Um and be really like rude about the tacos and then she would proceed to eat them all. So what would Sonata, um, she'd be like, she would be like, it's time for tacos. <gasps> what? Where'd they all go? Gilda? How's that? That was loud. Was that super loud? Sorry. Um, how did I come up with the voice of Susan Test? Um, I kind of, when I create a character, I create those characters from inside out. So what I try to do is understand the personality of the, of the character. Um, and then as I'm working through the lines for an audition, um, a, a, kind of like a sound starts to emerge based on whatever personality I've created for that or not. Well, whatever the character description is and how I can interpret interpret and incorporate that, those, um, those personality traits into, um, into myself. And then it just kind of comes out as a sound. And then I'll listen to myself sometimes I record myself and listen and make some small adjustments. Like if the character needs to be a bit older, I might like uh, lower the pitch. If it needs to be younger, I might raise the pitch. I might make them a little bit more, I might say to myself, oh, that doesn't sound quite lively enough. And then I'll add some more sort of energy to it. So that's, that's kind of how I came, that's how I came up with the voice of Susan. It's just sort of knowing that she was very type A personality, um, mostly annoyed with everyone around her because no one's as smart as her, maybe even not marry her twin sister. Um, that she's sort of sharp about everything. So I found it um, helpful to kind of, make sure that she was, she enunciated really well. Uh, so hopefully that gives you some idea of um, how I came up with that. You know, the sound of her voice and her personality was based on what they, the character description. Do you all want to see the babies? They're downstairs. Maybe if I hear them at the end of the, cause they're probably gonna come upstairs now that they hear me. If by the end of the, the stream, they're outside like meowing or scratching at the door, I promise you I'll let them in. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, I have a hard time focusing 
regularly anyways. And so today I'm, you know, wanting to make sure that I pay attention to what's happening in the chat and I have some tasks that I need to do, like sign these, right? Um, and, you know, acknowledge the people who've, who've paid for an autograph. Um, I want to make sure I do that. And so I'm paying attention to like, what's, what it's, what's in my shop. So they're jumping all over the place and I'm, the whole thing's just going to like crash and burn, which might be funny. Um, but so, so I promise you, I'll show them to you. Uh, let's see what else is here. Uh, yeah, you've, you've met Brad, um, loves darkness saying I met Brad a couple times before that guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. Um... Do I have any memories working with Kirby? Yeah, he just was always such a lovely person, like so welcoming and warm and always smile, always a smile on his face. I don't know, you know, it's just kind of being around somebody like that. Um, just like how big this cup is, by the way. Um, being somebody like around somebody like that, who's like so positive and just really kind and warm and cheerful. Um, yeah, that's my memory of working with Kirby. Pretty awesome dude. Um, yes, I can do Gilda. Um, I'm half eagle, half lion, and all awesome. So get out of my way. I don't know if she said that, but she did say the thing about all half eagle, half lion. Um, by the way, I thought I'd wear like um slightly tribute t-shirt, like claws, like Gilda. This is a Toronto Raptors OVO shirt. For those of you who who uh, uh, might know that I'm a big guy, Toronto Raptors fan. Um, you think Gilda would secretly like tacos? Yeah, no, I think she definitely would. I think she likes a lot of stuff. She pretends not to, but. Uh, ah, trivia about Brad's and Brad's, uh, Brad's rules. Oh, see you later, Scopey. Um, what do I think about Gilda's character throughout the show? I mean, because maybe because I played her and I love her, um, I always wanted her to come back. Um, I always wanted her to come back more. Like, um, I was very grateful that they brought her back in season five. I think it was season five. I was very grateful that they brought her back, but I always, I always liked, I would have liked to do, to do more episodes, but you know, that's not my job to come up with the episodes. Um, and every actor will tell you that every actor will say to you, I wish that like, um, I think that my character should be in every episode. Every actor will basically tell you that. So keep that, like, take that with a grain of salt. That there's like, you know, me saying like, oh, I wish Gilda was in tons of episodes. But um, yeah. One thing I always thought, and I've said this at conventions before, I think, um, you know how like there's so much amazing music in My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. There's always like incredible songs. And I personally thought that Gilda should have been a rapper. I think they should have written her like a whole like uh, song where she got to rap. <laughs> Maybe that's just also based on my own personal preferences for music, but I thought that would have been so cool. What does everyone think of that? Bad idea or good? Um, what's my favorite episode of Giant Test? I liked the one where um, it, I, I really enjoyed the one where Susan so. Um, Johnny was dressed or disguising himself. And, you know, we did a hundred and something episodes. So I don't remember the ton of details. Um, but Johnny is another character. He's like dressed as another character. Um, and <laughs> it's the most hilarious moment to me. Um, he rescues Susan, like from something. And he's flying. So he brings Susan down back onto the ground like um like in his arms like flying and like landing her on the ground and susan has these like heart eyes she's like falling in love with this like superhero character and she's like oh you know she you can tell she's 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 making some giggly kind of comments which of course susan only does with gil her and mary always would go ah, gil so she starts to do that with johnny not knowing it's johnny dressed in this superhero costume and then he takes off his mask or whatever, and she's like, ew, Johnny, get out of here. It's a really, really funny moment. Don't know what the episode's called. Don't know what season it is. But that to me is really, really hilarious. Was it Johnny X? Thank you, Jonathan. It is Johnny X. You're absolutely right. Thank you. Love it. Thanks, Jonathan. Nice to be speaking to you for sure. 
Um, and began to feel like a rap god. Rap god. Nice. I'd like to do a little verses, but I won't do them today. Um, since I mentioned voice requests, can you say hello to me as Luna Maria Hawk? I can say hi to you as um, Jovan. I mean, as as Susan. Um, uh, she would be like, she would say something along the lines of, um, uh, hi, Jovan. I hope you like science because it's the only way to work. It's, you know, hi, hi, Jovan. I hope you like science because it's the only way to get ahead in life. That's what she'd probably say. And to be honest with you, I don't remember what Luna Maria or Thunder Blast sound like. I know that's not great, but um, I don't remember what they sound like. So sorry about that. Um, I hope that you'll forgive me for not remembering. Uh, what life advice would I give Gilda and Sonata? Um, Gilda, I think probably needs to chill like a little bit more. She needs to like figure out something that like relaxes her a bit. Um, I think maybe she needs to like adopt a kitten so that she learns a little bit more sort of gentle and nurturing in her life. She gets like connected to that nurturing side of herself. Um, and Sonata could probably um, separate herself somewhat from the other two dazzlings because the other two dazzlings are often a bad influence on her, I thought. And she's so kind of like bubbly and cute that it would be kind of, I, I, I think she should like get her like diploma in early childhood education and work with like kids, like little kids. I feel like that would be like something that her personality, like that cheerfulness would, would be really good and like, with little kids or like kids in an elementary school. Maybe she'd be a good kindergarten teacher. I don't know, that's what I, that might be. So life advice, those would be the kind of things I'd do. And maybe for both of them, I think Gildan maybe needs a little bit of therapy. <laughs> um, Sonata could probably just do a little bit more reading. That'd be good. Can I do a Rainbow Dash impression? No, I don't think I could do Ashley's voice. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. I'm sorry, that's like three things now I haven't been able to do. <laughs> that's all right. Um, why don't I do a little bit of signing now? And then maybe some of you might want to think of some more questions. Let's see, I'm just opening up my shop here on my phone. Um, so that I can start to do a few things. I don't know if any of the people who signed are here. Hi, Quentin! How's it going? Nice to see you. Well, see you on the chat. I hope you're well and happy. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to sign this. So this is for Parker. Hey, Parker. Thank you so much for wanting a signed uh, amazing piece by Pixel Kitties. So this is the one that you picked. And I'm just going to write uh, that on the back. Mm, let's see. What do you... Parker. Can you please write? We should have... Yeah. Parker. So Parker wants me to write, uh, we should have tacos together sometime. I would like that. To Parker. We should have tacos together sometime. Parker, what kind of tacos do you like? And I, I don't think you're here, but um, uh, if you are, I would love to know what kind of tacos are your favorite. Mine are probably, I'm a vegetarian, so like bean, kind of black bean or um, refried bean tacos. I do this thing where I like grate tofu um, and then like, um, like mix it, like uh, fry it up. Like as if you're, if it's, if it's like ground beef or something. I like those kinds of tacos. Um, uh, yeah, so we should have tacos. See, this is me not being able to do two things at once. Hey, 
And I'm assuming you like Sonata best. But I will also write Gilda so that she doesn't get left out. Here you go, Parker. Here you are. Here you go. Thanks, Parker. Let's see what's next. Um, this one's for Caden. Caden Austin. And they want also this two hands picture. Is this again? Oh, they want. Thank you, Caden. Big fan of your performances in the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of your hard work. Thank you for watching, all of you. Thank, thank you for watching. I don't know if anybody quite like realizes sometimes that, you know, we can't, us actors can't work unless people are watching what we're doing. Um, so I, for one, really appreciate uh, people, um, you know, your viewership. So thank you. Let's see. I'm going to do this now. Caden Austin. And they wrote, woo, taco, woo, taco Tuesday. Is it fun to see the top of my head, everybody? So this is what I wrote for Caden. Can I even, yeah, that can see that. I'm a big fan of Taco Tuesday myself. Uh, and then Mariah Hendricks. Um, oh, I'm supposed to write something at the back of this four. Um, so, you know, it's funny actually, cause um, there's a restaurant here and maybe this happens all over kind of the, the North America. Um, there was a restaurant here that's used Taco Tuesday as their like, um, like slogan or whatever forever. Um, so, so yeah, kind of funny. I had no idea that it was like a thing. Okay, make sure I got this right. Four. Okay, let me finish this one. And this one, this person wants um, the raining tacos photo. And I don't know who this, or art. I don't know who this is for actually. So um, I think they just want a signature. Number seven. Here you go. It's cute, hey? I just think that's such a good idea. Sonata riding on Gilda's back. I don't think she'd like that very much, uh, Gilda herself, but they seem to be collaborating reasonably nicely. Okay, let's see what's next. More orders. Okay. Why don't I look through a few of these questions first? Before I continue, it's doing a decent time. I, um, yeah, Quentin, I know I'm no, I'm not very, I'm just not on social media very much at all. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I can't focus on it very well. Um, I have found, um, just, I don't know. Not necessarily. Yeah, I just, I don't know. It's just sort of something I've just kind of lost my motivation to to do. So, but I do miss seeing you and chatting with you for sure. I'm glad you're doing well. Um, what inspired me to go into voice acting? Um, I mean, I always, you know, I think like many of us watched cartoons when we were little. Um, and it was just another part of the acting business for me to explore. I didn't, um, I didn't, uh, specifically start acting to be a voice actor. I, I started acting just, you know, to be an actor. And um, 
it was uh, something I was definitely aware of. For those of you who don't know, um, I went to high school for a year with Tara Strong, who's the best voice actor on the planet. And she was always very enthusiastic about um, me doing, you know, acting professionally. And so because I knew her, um, I knew voice acting was out there. And so I, um, I definitely, you know, kind of had this conversation with my agents about, um, I'd like to do this. I'd like to do this. And so my agents started to, to sort of try and submit me for work. So that's kind of how that happened. Um, my agents, um, realized, I suppose that I could do it to some degree because they came to see a play. I was in this play. I had already done a bunch of, uh, uh, voice jobs, but I think they really got enthusiastic about it when they came to see a play and I was, my character was being, it was a flashback to my character's birth and at birth they were taken away from their mother and I was taken away from my mother, the character. And um, so I, uh, the director, the concept was to have me sit at the front of the stage and cry like a baby. And so I did that and they were like, oh, that was a very realistic baby cry. We, you know, you should be really doing animation. So that's how kind of that, how that worked but i just you know again it was just part of a um part of an evolution of of someone's acting career to, to be exploring uh, different aspects mediums of acting um is anyone requesting me to draw a taco on their print yes and i've also signed tacos um at other um events uh so that's tacos come up quite a bit for sure have i ever met tab of the saint germain yes a million a million times yes um, I have worked with her and her and I are friends. Um, we socialize and, uh, and, uh, she's really honestly one of my favorite people on the planet. Uh, she's awesome. Um, she's every bit as amazing as you might think she is. Can I do Yasmin from Bratz? Maybe. That's very interesting. She was very, she was very, um, thoughtful about things. You know, she volunteered at, a veterinary clinic. She was a vegetarian. Um, so I think that's kind of how Yasmin sounds. I think. I think so. Um, what place in Equestria would you like to visit? Um, like in real life? Riffenstone. That's what I'll say. Riffenstone. You've watched seven seasons of Giant Tess and you're still in, uh, in your last and fourth year of high school. Have you watched the new? So that means you've watched all the new stuff. What did you think of the new animation, Jovan? Because um, that animation style changed very slightly in this last one. Hey, Scope, you're back. Awesome. Um, yeah, the animation style changed very slightly. So I'm curious to know what you thought about that. Um, so that must be Sonata's go-to place then, like <laughs> For Taco Tuesday? Yes, she probably does. She probably would definitely be over there like um, uh, for every Tuesday. It's called Taco Fino, I think. The restaurant here, I think. Hello, Tom. How's it going? Um, Pre-med loner. That's a good... I love your screen name. Is there a show or film you wish you could have voiced? Like, been in? Like, uh, yeah. Um, I would love to be in Rick and Morty. Love to be in Rick and Morty. Um, there's some really cool shows that I'm seeing pop up on Netflix these days. Um, I had a question many, many years ago in an interview that asked me, um, it, um, let's see if I can get this right. If I could work with any director, um, who would I work with? Um, and my answer was if David Fincher, because my favorite movie pretty much is seven. Um, if David Fincher ever... Um, directed a cartoon, I would love to be in that. And lo and behold, there's a show on Netflix. I can't remember what it's called, but it's on my like list. I've favorited it or whatever. Um, uh, he's directing a show, uh, created a show, whatever. Um, like that's pretty cool. So I would love, would have loved to have been in that. I just did a job that I can't talk about. I know everybody's eye rolling that I was very excited about. So um, maybe one day I'll be able to tell you. Uh, Tom, yes, favorite roles that I've done. Um, I said this maybe at the beginning, but um, uh, Revy in Black Lagoon is my favorite role that I've ever done. Yes, um, Tara is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. We went to high school together for sure. Tabitha is the best. Scopey. Have I met Tiffany Grant? No, I'm not sure who that is. Or maybe I'll look them up. So new Black Lagoon. Okay, 
Loves Darkness. So a new Black Lagoon manga has been released. So fingers crossed of an anime. Uh, yes, we, I actually did an interview uh, last week and we talked about that a little bit. I had no idea that a new manga had come out. So uh, yes, please, everybody in the, in the chat, maybe could cross their fingers for me because that would be super cool um, if we could do that and, and the anime, the dubbing could come up come up here for sure. Um, let's see. Uh, how did I come up with the voice of Gilda? Um, I, I wanted to make her kind of rough and tough and because she was half lion, I wanted to add a growl. So that's part of what I, um, that's how I came up with the voice of Gilda. I, I wanted to add that kind of raspy, kind of growly and just to her voice roar kind of thing. Yeah, there's some really cool, um, uh, new animation. You, oh, you like the new animation, the Netflix revival, Jonathan. Great. Cool. Yeah, we, you know, it's a smaller acting community here in Vancouver. And so we do, you know, we all work together on different shows. Uh, it's really interesting. So, um, yeah, there's lots of cool people. Um, Brian Doe is in uh, the new season. Um, trying to think of who else. Anyways, you can all see it on, 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 on Netflix. Please watch it. You never know, we might get a new, we might get a new uh, uh, season if, if it gets watched a lot. Um, which of the new, which of the main six ponies would I want to hang out with for a day? Fluttershy, because she's so cute. Still doing 100 kilometers an hour. So you're driving scope? <laughs> Be careful. Jonathan, you're friends with the voice of Jessica from Rick and Morty. Cool. Amazing. I love that show. Ah, okay. So, Jovan, you haven't seen the new, the last two seasons. Maybe someday you'll get a Netflix account and you'll be able to watch it. Let me know. Thanks, Quentin, for understanding. Yeah. Um, it's good to see you here, too. David Fisher, David Fincher did an anime. That's it. That's it. That one. Um, did, uh, did anybody watch that? Love, uh, Love, Death, and Robots? Anybody? Anyway. Um, thank you for crossing fingers. Ah, Tiffany was the original English way for a Sukhan. Oh, cool. Mm. Yes, you're right, Jonathan. She's always the best in Jonathan. She's, best, she's the best in everything she does, in my personal opinion. Uh, I'll pass all these compliments along to her when I see her next. Um, I'm going to do some more signing now. Um, let's see. This person wants... Oh, this Jonathan, this is for you! You want this one. Thanks, Jonathan. Let's see. Let's see what you like. Oh, thank you. It's nice to interact with you too. Um, Jonathan. So my favorite line is Gilda is, um, is the I'm half eagle, half lion, and all awesome. Um, so yeah, that's you, Jonathan, for sure. Jonathan, is it okay if I like write a version um, of like that line, or do you want me to do um, the full line itself? Let me know. And while you're answering the question, bye, Quentin. See you around too. Thank you so much. And thank you for the gifts that you've sent me in the past. It's awesome. Um, can I do Kate from Kate and Mimim? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Whoa, that's amazing. I hope that's right. Any funny bloopers I remember from I'm recording MLP? No, I was only in two episodes of the show, so I don't think there's any bloopers that I rem remember. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Okay. Oh, Jonathan, thank you. Okay. I'm gonna, um, and I will write it to Tuesday. Um, okay. I made a mistake. <laughs> it's a good thing there's more than more than one. <laughs> Here, I'm starting again, Jonathan. Oh my goodness.
Sorry for the silence, everybody. <laughs> I wrote Jonathan, I wrote, um, Hilda and I think you are all awesome. Sonata just keeps repeating, it's Taco Tuesday. <laughs> and then I signed it. And then I wrote lovely to see you. There you go. That's what it looks like. Thanks, Jonathan. Now let's see. Next person is Cristobal. Franco, Franco, Franco. Hi, Cristobal. You've asked for the two hands. One, just let me do this. Mm, two, Cristobal. First of all, wants me to write a, like a silly sonata thing to make one up. Sonata says there are too many tacos in my two hands. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Here you go, Cristobal. There you go. And your number three. Let's see. And somebody wrote, which one do you want? This one. There's somebody who wants this one. Um, but it's Write whatever I want. Fierce. F E I R C E. Yeah. Let me write it down. Fierce. No. Fierce. F I. Days be tacos full and fierce like Gilda. Looking up fierce. Let's see. This person also wants Bryant. Bryant Diaz. Hi, Minnie. Cute. Thank you. 
This is for Bryant. They wanted me to write, hi, Minnie. My friend's a cat's name is Minnie. Uh, I'll stop for a second and then I'll look at, we've got about 20 minutes left, so I'm gonna look at some of the questions because I've got a couple more to sign. Uh, okay, let's look at the questions. Thank you, Jonathan. Ah, does everyone see the tacos that oh, I think Kay put in the chat? Awesome. Um, you're in Australia, Rainbow Dash? The stream is at a great time because I'm in Australia. It's 10 a.m. Cool. Excellent. The, the stream really piano music. You don't like the music scope? We, we should have you DJ. The other one, I like the, I was saying at the beginning, like the, the music that comes on for the, like while well, they're telling me that I've got 30 seconds left and stuff. I loved it. It was cute. Very, very bouncy. I heard the latest news about Mega Man. Ah, that is, that's a great thing. Andrew Francis is very cool too. I wonder if you could get it as your hold music. Who knows? Favorite song from Rainbow Rocks? Oh, I don't remember. I know my favorite song is from MLP. It's the it's the um the one that um Princess Cadence sings. Um the, the, This Day Aria. I love that. But Rainbow Rocks, I'm not sure. I didn't sing them. Just so you know, there's another person that does the singing voice for Sonata. Um I sound like, you know, like I sound a little bit more like the Little Mermaid. They needed somebody with like some pop rock chops. That's not really my my genre. Um, it doesn't really suit my singing voice. So that that's they had someone else do the singing voice for me. So I can't remember the songs. Um, yeah, can I do? Hi, hi. My name is Dixie Day Daisy. That's Dixie Day Daisy. I remember her. And congratulations on the puppy adoption. It's nice to know she's going to a good home. There you go. Um, I don't know the reference. Let's track in. Hmm. Oh, now everyone's putting tacos. I love it. Loves Darkness is saying they're craving tacos. <laughs> Me too. It's good. Thank you, Rainbow Dash Fierce. I saw that too late. Britt McKillop. Yes, did the singing. Amazing. Oh, you like this day? Uh, uh, Britt is the most amazing singer. She's the most amazing singer ever. So yeah, that's why I, that's actually why I like the song because she's incredible. I'm glad you like it too, Rainbow Dash. Um, the least favorite line from Gilda. Well, I don't like the way that we did the very last line where she, um, well, not the very last one, but in season five, in in season five where she kind of gets redeemed. Excuse me, and we were talking about um, uh, she she like saves them down in the well and from you know what i mean all that whole like chaotic situation i wished um i wished i'd i'd understood what was happening because i think i would have made that that scene a bit more tender-hearted for gilda so that that's the line i don't like because of my own performance my memory of it i wish i could go back and change it every now and again um you know actors might kind of go I wish I could go back and do something again. And that's one I'd wish I could do again. So there you go. I a Brit and dead like me. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, br uh, I got goosebumps when I first heard it too. I auditioned for that. I auditioned for it to be the singing voice. Um, and I think maybe play Princess Cadence. I don't remember any of the days, but I was just like, I can't sing anywhere near that well. Amazing. Um, I hope she does goes on streamly too. Cool. It's raining. Well, we're about to have rainy season here in Vancouver. Uh, for sure. Um, uh, that's cool that, that, uh, that you saw Britt and, and, sh and she liked your cats. Amazing. Okay, let me do some more of these. Uh, this is for Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Thank you. Um, and this is wanting the raining tacos. Let me just put this. Evelyn. Evelyn wants a, uh, 
inspirational quote. So I wrote this for Evelyn, wanted to have um, a favorite inspirational, like a, an inspirational quote. And so I wrote um, to, uh, one of my favorite quotes is this one. Um, the difference between success and failure is one more try. I love that. Um, so that's what I wrote for Evelyn. Here you go, Evelyn. Yeah, thank you. This one is also, this is for Tommy. Tommy also wants the reigning um, tacos one. And Tommy, Tommy, I don't think you want anything special instructions. So I'll just write on my own kind of like little thing. Um, let's see. So Tommy, I wrote, um, seems like Sonata and Gilda are BFFs when not arguing over who gets the last, last taco. Thanks, Tommy. Here. By the way, do you all want to see something really cute? So um, my prints were sent to me from Streamly. And check out the pen. They sent me like pens. Streamly like like uh, Sharpies, isn't that the coolest? I thought that was awesome. And this person wants the two hot pans tacos. This is Stephen James. Hi, Stephen. Um, let's see. Oops. Oh, thanks for watching. The person uh, Stephen says, just want to say thanks for the phenomenal entertainment of Black Lagoon. If they make another season, I'd be excited to hear your voice wherever you can. Regardless, I wish you the best. Stay safe. By the way, could you write your favorite line for Black Lagoon? Yes, I absolutely will. I'm not going to say that over the, the the live stream, just in case there are young people watching. Um, but you'll, if those of you who know Black Lagoon, know that there's a lot of foul language. So, um, uh, I I won't <laughs> I won't do that on our stream here today. But um, Stephen, suffice it to say, I'll get pretty salty on here. So. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, let me see. I'm thinking of good line.
Here's Steven. I'm going to try to block like part of it. Here you go, Steven. <laughs> you can't see it. The end, I will tell you one of the lines I wrote. And that's one to grow on. For those of you who watch the show, you'll know that part. part. Um, so thanks, Steven. There you go. My orders are completed. So we can chat for the last like eight minutes. Um, thanks everybody for hanging in there with me while I'm signing because I know it's probably not that interesting to watch. Um, so thanks. Um, let's see. Let's see at hope where I come back to here. Taryn Taffy. I don't remember what Taryn Taffy sounds like either. I do remember it's from that one movie. Is Cadence my prince favorite princess pony? Yes. Oh, yeah. You like Vancouver? Um, my good, you're on your laptop. Hope. Oh. Um, it's nice here in Vancouver. Cool. Vancouver is awesome. Very pricey to live. Um, and rains a lot in the winter. It took me a long time to get used to once I lived here. Um, uh, yeah. So. It's raining tacos. It's a wonder to see. Ooh, it's raining tacos. It's a wonder to see. <sighs> That's uh, the line that someone wanted me to say, Bryson. While I was walking around wondering, wa walking, wondering around, I actually I accidentally found ocean. Cool. Yeah, because you can see it outside. Um, it's like labeled on the, on the side of the building. Um, yes, and uh, you're right. Scope. Uh, stuff along Hastings is um, it's very, uh, uh, you know, things are tough. Things are very tough um, for any of you are interested. Just, there's lots of information about that, but that's like the poorest postal code in Canada. Um, do I have a YouTube channel? Uh, no, but I do have, well, maybe because I have a thing where I've posted a couple of things of my, like my animation demo and stuff like that, but I'm not even really sure if that counts as a YouTube channel. I don't use it. <laughs> like Quentin and I were talking about earlier, I don't use social media, so very much. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to, you know, when you do a lot of Saturday morning cartoons, cartoons for kids and stuff, it's fun. We get to do you know some f bombs in a show, and Black Lagoon is full of them. Full. Oh, thanks. Um, dope with the VIP dinner. That was fun, and the the Blue Jay game stuff was hilarious. And I remember actually the first time I ever met you, I heard you yelling like the Blue Jay suck from the corner, and I was like, Hey, who's that? It was amazing. And then we've always like chatted and joked about that ever since. Don't tell me the score of the Blue Jay game, by the way, folks. Is, uh, oh, actually, you can if anybody wants to know what the score of the Jay game is because um, I don't have Apple TV and I think it's broadcast on Apple TV tonight. I was annoyed. Um, oh, that was you, pre med loner. Are you Steven? Hope so. Um, thanks for joining. Um, you always tell the story of Cassie Cuss Kathy cussing and then immediately apologize. <laughs> Yeah, that's hilarious. Um, yes, this is the thing, hey? The the F-bombs, you know, we, we get to be thoughtful about when we drop our F-bombs for sure, hey? When there's other children around or, um, you know, all that kind of thing. Also, just people don't necessarily want to hear all of that all the time. Uh, can I do Miserable Marla from Starbeam? Yes, I think so. Um, ugh. I suppose if you want me to rate make, uh, I suppose if you want me to stop making it rain, I can. I like that character, actually. It's a character I really have enjoyed playing. Uh, my next convention, I don't have a convention coming up. There's some inquiries happening at the moment, but I don't have anything uh, uh, set up at the moment. Maybe something soon. Um... Rebecca hit the ceiling towel and doing the bat flip. So for those of you who are wondering what we're talking about with the baseball game, um, so we, so Jose Bautista in um, the East, um, the conference, what was it called? Uh, I forget what it was. Anyway, it was the playoffs. And there was a huge, big drama. And Jose Bautista hit, uh, hit a home run at a crucial moment of the game. And everyone went absolutely crazy. And he did the most magnificent bat flip I've ever seen. And I've been watching baseball since I was a toddler. Uh, it was the most magnificent epic bat flip. If any of you ever want to look that up, check it out. It's the most amazing bat flip ever. Please look it up. And we reenacted that whole thing. 
at a convention once. It was hilarious. And Rebecca Shoykit threw, threw the bat too hard when she did her bat flip and it hit the ceiling tile. I mean, there was like dust that came down, all that kind of stuff. Thank you, pre-med loaner. Thank you, Steven. Um, uh, I'm glad it's you. And hopefully, hopefully you, you'll, you'll get a kick out of the line. Uh, oh, sorry, it's been rough, Scopey. Hmm, that sucks. It's been a tough time for lots of people, I think, over the last couple of years, so. Um, yeah. Better times are ahead, I hope, for you, for everyone. Um, so I'm gonna ask, answer these last two, address these last two things, and then we're gonna um, wrap it up. I just wanna say thank you to Kay, and Laura's here with us too. Thank you so much, both of you, for um, Kay running the show today. Thank you for all of it. Everybody say thank you. Okay. Uh, and um, I'll just, I'll finish this last thing. Um, can I do muffin? I'm not sure who muffin is. Anyway. Uh, my favorite sports are basketball and swimming though. Mine are bas mine's basketball, baseball. I really like curling too. Canadian. Uh, basketball's my thing though. With, uh, with the, um, that, with um, baseball, like a close record. ALDS, thank you, in 2015. Wow, that was a long time ago. Blue Jays still suck. This is Scope. Blue Jays will tell me that, he will tell me that Blue Jays suck. I love it, it's hilarious banter. All the love back. Um, Streamily is waving at every, oh, that's Casey, <laughs> waving at us. Um, great talking to you too, Jonathan. Great to talk to you too, Rainbow Dash. Um, yes, Vincent, I can. Sonata will be like, I, um, what's your name again? Oh, it's Vincent. Bye, Vincent. I'll see ya. There you go. That's Gilda and Sonata. Oh, from Bob from Broken Slate. Bob's Broken Slate. I don't remember what she sounds like. I'm sorry. <laughs> Susan Tess can say goodbye, though. Bye, everybody. I'll see you later. Please try not to bother me too much. I'm doing some science. Um, I'll say hi to everybody for you. And I hope I come to hope you come to Toronto one day. Love's Darkness. It's my hometown. I will be in Toronto at some point or other. You never know when, but that is my hometown. Lives in my heart. Thanks everybody for joining me. I really appreciate your time. And thanks for watching the shows. Thanks for coming to like be with me and talk with me. Um, it means a lot. And uh, know that I appreciate you um, very much. As I said earlier, you can't work as an actor if you don't watch the stuff that I'm in. So I really appreciate you. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your energy. I appreciate you coming here today to um, just hang out with everybody and to hang out with me and support um, support us. And um, yeah, thank you. And I'll say goodbye. A big taco goodbye to everybody. <sighs> it's Taco Friday! <laughs> was that good? I hope that was good. Okay, everybody. Thank you. I'll see you. Have a lovely weekend. Um, take care of yourselves. Be positive. Take care of each other. Um, and I'll see you around sometime. Hope to see all of you at a convention. Peace out. <laughs>